in this tutorial we will create multi storage building so we will be using the same data suppose above floor is same as the bottom floor and using this data only we want to create it so how to create it so at first we will have to copy all this data so just copy select object take crossing window enter base point give other point escape then for multi floor building actually in this object we will not need this parapet wall so we will erase it and we we will consider we will consider that the stairs are from inside so we will remove these stairs also or we can make the steps layer off actually so it will not be visible ok we will keep it on because other objects are also on it so we will erase it so take 2 divide frame so it will be easy to erase e enter select the object enter ok then go back to ok in other view also we will erase it e enter take a crossing window and click and enter so it has been removed come back to shaded view now in this view this is actually top floor of this floor so you'll remove your ground and other things so again erase take a crossing window enter and remove this steps will not be needed and here we will not be giving any door also so we will remove this door then this portion will not be needed and we want it to be connected so we can press pull it press pull select object take this end point escape then actually we will need this also connected this portion will need to be connected so we'll just take press pull again press pull okay take the press pull select okay that complete wall is getting extruded okay skip don't want that complete wall to be extruded so we will create one rectangle actually on this surface so this surface will be uh, right surface so we will take right as a plane right plane and we will create one rectangle from this point to the end of this and we will make wall layer current escape and press pull it and connect it press pull select object and connect to end of this escape to come out so this portion is ready then we just have to we will just move it and put it on below floor so just move select object enter take this end point make ortho off f8 press f8 zoom it pan it and put it above this slab click so in this way this has been in this way suppose here actually I want to give some gallery and uh, I don't want it to be complete so for that what I can do I can cut this portion actually I want to give an open gallery so I will cut this portion so for that we will create or we will copy one line copy edge select this edge enter give base point give direction ortho on so we will create at 1 meter height escape then we will press pull and cut the above portion press pull 
and cut this upper portion and give depth actually I want to give depth up to this inner wall up to this inner wall so take the endpoint of this inner wall so in this way this complete portion has been cut but in that actually we don't want to cut this portion here so we'll just undo it escape undo and we will actually cut up to uh, this point actually so again press pull take this portion and cut up to this end point ok and this portion actually we want to cut up to inside so again press pull is on and take the end point of this point ok no it gone further ok it is alright escape it is correct actually ok then remove this erase this line then I want to reduce the height of these pipes so this is a array so click on that and click on edit source edit source then he is asking me to select one element so I will select this then ok then press pull it and reduce its height press pull select the top and reduce it height up to this by 1.5 same way here or ok then after save changes and then reduce again click on this array edit source then press pull ok now actually we have to go inside the edit source so click this array edit source then select item in array ok then press pull select this point and again up to this point escape to come out so in this way it has been cut properly now for this portion also I want to cut I don't want this portion so I will again copy this edge copy edge this edge ok this is a 2d edge so it is not getting copied so I will copy the upper edge actually this edge ok there is also some 2d edge so I will take this edge not in the working set ok actually we have to come out of this save changes array editing we were doing the array editing so save changes and come out and then now try again to copy edge copy edge select this edge then enter then give base point this end point and second point will be this end point so in this way in that press escape to come out then we want to cut this portion so we will create one line from this end point and don't take any end point or anything so just take it outside escape then press pull and cut this portion press pull and cut and remove so erase this line and this line enter ok erase select this line zoom this line enter so this gallery portion is ready now so if I want to make a small terrace there so I will have to remove actually this upper portion also upper slab portion so we can remove it by press pulling just press pull suppose I want to make a terrace press pull and click here and go up and click so that portion has been removed then suppose I will need to create this portion 
so again I will cut this portion press pull take this to end of this so this has been cut then again I have to cut this up to this end point and here suppose I have to cover it so for that I will again create one rectangle here actually on this surface so again this plane will be this asymmetry this plane will be a front plane so we'll take it front and create one rectangle rectangle first point then give dimension so in x direction thickness will be 0 0.3 and height will be 0 0.75 click click on this side okay we will move it move select object enter this end point to this end point then press pull it press pull zoom okay the up to the actually we have to press pull it up to end of this okay then again we will have to create one rectangle on this surface that is right plane create one more rectangle give first point dimensions so rectangle length in x direction is 0.3 and height is 0.75 then click some point from this side below below the ear then again press pull end of this escape so in this way this portion is developed here like a terrace some small terrace is there then I will have to cover this so for that I will create one line line from end of the mid of this to mid of this enter more and one more line from midpoint of or quadrant of this to the midpoint of this escape and then create one circle circle center point give the radius of 0 0.02 we will need this two times so we will just copy it enter base point second point escape then we will use the sweep so object to sweep is this circle and path is this line Okay, in between enter to be pressed so we will take sweep select this circle enter then select this line same way for other object enter to repeat the command select the circle enter select the path this line as a path enter so in this way this portion is developed so in this way we have created a multi-story building using the data I will label exi using existing data or existing floor and if you have new design for floor actually whatever the same way we have created the ground floor plan the same way you can create the second floor plan also and move and put it on the slab so in this way we have created it so we will stop here thank you